I'm a real shy person in real life. I mean, forget the fact I'm feeling like I'm talking as if I know what I'm saying. In real life, I'm a very, very shy Let person. Let us help each other out so that you can come out there and make these amazing videos that we have been dying to see. You know? Hi guys and channel. welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chigizima and I'm a content creator, YouTuber based in Nigeria. I was going to say Africa, but then <laughs> Nigeria is also in Africa. So you're welcome back to this video. And um, if you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome. And if you're a new subscriber, you're welcome. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think Obviously, if it's your first time here, please do not forget to become a part of the family. Hit the subscribe button, help us grow. And let us move forward in life, each and every one of us. So I'm guessing if you're here, you're either a YouTuber or you're trying to help out your friend who is a YouTuber, your family member who is a YouTuber, and um, which is really beautiful. So I will try my best to help you to help them. So I'm going to start by saying, um, I understand you if you are shy or if you're a really shy person. I'm a really shy person in real life. I mean, forget the fact I'm sitting here and talking as if I know what I'm saying. In real life, I'm a very, very shy person. In fact, when I'm walking on the road, I'm always sleeping on the ground, but then um, I'm trying to overcome that part of me because I've overcome the part of me that is shy in camera for now. So you're welcome and let us go through all the ways you can overcome shyness as a youtuber let us help each other out so that you can come out there and make these amazing videos that we have been dying to see you know share your lifestyle share these videos that we have been dying to know what it is like you know what you're like in front of the camera so we're going to start with the first point which is my personal experience with being shy okay i started talking about becoming a youtuber when i was in university and um which was almost four or five years ago and i always felt oh how am i supposed to sit down and you know talk i always used to make fun with my friends oh hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to my youtube channel but i never had the courage to actually sit down and say welcome back to my youtube channel now going all the way back to how i used to be shy i was so shy that i hated doing presentations in the university and i can remember one time in my year one that i did a presentation and i spoke of rubbish absolute rubbish because i was so shy that you know people attention of people were on me and it, it just made me feel weird but um i said to overcome the shyness about speaking in public um i haven't spoken in public for a long time but in school generally i started trying to overcome being shy speaking in public you know i said being able to make my presentations properly you know feel free i mean these people looking at me are my friends they are my classmates people that i know so why am i shy you know making a video in front of them so um, I gradually decided to start making a video, talking, speaking out more, and that's how I was able to make presentation in school. Now I wanted to realize that being a YouTuber is like being a YouTuber is like um, making a presentation, but then it's just your camera that's looking at you, not anybody else. And being shy can actually just make you look awkward feel awkward it's still normal like i say you can gradually you know get out of your shy corner i have friends that you know whenever i'm making a youtube video and i want to put her face if she sees this video she will know whenever i want to put your face you would run away you will hide you and my sister you guys keep running away from the camera i don't know what the camera did to you but then stop running away from the camera so let's talk about what shyness is and um, its symptoms um Laymanly speaking, I don't want to be having a lecture, but then speaking with the layman terms, shyness is just you being um afraid of attention. I think that's just the best way to you know describe it. You are afraid of attention, you are afraid of something that is not afraid of you. So it's when you try to um run away from 
um, certain situations because they feel awkward being in that situation. It could have happened from, you know, it could come from different reasons. Maybe when you're a child, you know, you try to speak out, um, people try to shut you up and, you know, you grew up that way or you were not such a bright child in school and you felt, you know, inferior to other people. Shyness could just come from different ways. You know, it could come from you feeling inferior, it could come from you feeling, you know, afraid that people will, you know, laugh at you, not validate your thoughts, you know, not acknowledge your presence properly. So you just tend to um shy away, tend to run away from those situations. And like I always say, is normal, is normal. I once was very shy speaking to the camera. Like I, I I'm very sure I used to be awkward in the camera. Like when I get back to my videos of like two years ago, I'm sure I was really awkward in front of the camera because I'm like I'm speaking to nobody else but myself. So um, the common symptoms of you, for you to know you're a shy person, I'm probably sure the most common thing is that you feel awkward, you know, hearing your own self, your voice in camera. I'm specifically talking about as a YouTuber now. Um, you feel awkward in yourself. You feel when you look at your video, you feel like, oh, people are going to judge me. Oh, my hair is not done this way. Oh, they're going to say this about me. All these, or that you feel um, the awkwardness, you feel like, oh, no, 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 I'm not good enough. You are good enough. We are all good enough for whatever we want to do. I mean, no matter how much other people have, it shouldn't affect what you have, your confidence, on, and the way you are. So, um, that is the easiest way for you your camera shy. You don't like taking pictures, you don't like posting your pictures, even if you take them. You don't like yourself in appearing in people's pictures. You're always, you know, Trying to find fault in yourself when you see yourself in the picture so it's a, a form of shyness the people could be shy you know just camera shy but then they are not shy in your life you know in talking to the public in addressing the public they might not be shy but they might just be shy for the camera like my friend and my sister now um i'll be now as a youtuber um i think the most common reason why you are actually shy is because you feel not um validated enough you feel not you feel you have this lack of confidence you feel that people watching you would get to judge you the truth is they will get to judge you they always get to judge you i mean you're putting your life out there so you're going to get judged but not of the things you think you know they are judging you of. i they could be judging you of oh i like her hairstyle you know, you're looking at the father, oh, the lip gloss on my mouth looks somehow, I mean, nobody's giving it to me. Or they could be judging you of, oh, I like her content, I like the way she speaks, I like her accent. You know, all that. People could be judging you. Most times, I will always say, you being shy is just you overthinking things. People will get to judge you. On the road, people are judging you. In the street, people are judging you. But then, most times using the word judging makes it look as if they are thinking negative about you they're saying the flaws that you have a couple of people don't even see the flaws that you have like they can't even notice the flaws that you have they are just you know having an opinion about you which is normal you have an opinion about everybody else you have an opinion of me you're watching this video like oh okay um i think she's too shy i think she's too camera so i will she keep looking around so all those things <clears throat> are normal so as a YouTuber, you need to build your confidence that, oh, I, I'm going to be out there. Um, thousands of people will get to see my videos. Millions of people will get to see my videos. I don't know who is watching me. So I'm not going to allow people that I can't really see to judge me and make me not do what I want to do. Now, um, I'll be talking about the bad things that come with being shy as a YouTuber um the first thing is that you get to look awkward now let me give you a, a very simple scenario i am shy at this moment now so hi guys and uh, welcome back to my youtube channel and my name is chips Dima, and i'm here to teach you guys how you can operate okay come on no one wants to see that or this so no one wants to see that and I'm, I'm not trying to judge you for being shy right now but i'm just saying it makes you look awkward um people would open up your video you had a catchy thumbnail you have a catchy video but then um when you begin to speak it just feels awkward 
it just feels like okay what is happening here why is she trying to run away from looking at us I'm looking at this side, from looking at us at the camera why is she trying to you know avoid looking at us eye contact is very important so um when you are a youtuber and you're really really shy you could be shy at the beginning but you need to build the self-confidence to stop being shy um the issue is that you get to um lose subscribers you don't get to subscribe because you know, you're not it doesn't feel as if they are actually learning something from you it doesn't feel as if you're having a conversation with them it feels as if you're um someone that they are bullying into saying something to you which just feels wrong so um that is the greatest impact you would have as a youtuber if you're really shy people would just feel you know i can't i can't relate to this person can you stop coming down oh, you know i can't relate to this person i can't understand where this person is coming from because it doesn't feel as if she's really important to me so you need some um, that is the greatest impact that being shy as a youtuber could create for you I still say that sometimes um i would um not want to make a youtube video and this could come from the fact that you're watching other youtubers and it feels as if you have it all nobody has it all that's the first thing i need to tell you nobody has it all. nobody became you know perfect at their first trial so your first trial doesn't have to be perfect you don't have to overjudge yourself about you know being a youtuber um you need to remove self-doubt and imposter syndrome um stop trying to be like oh i really like this youtuber and i want to be like her but then you don't have the um you are not her that's just the first thing you are not this particular youtuber and you can't be them or you can learn from them you can build your confidence like oh the way she talks i like it so you can build your confidence on that way but then um stop doubting yourself you can actually do you can sit down and have the conversation and people would actually love the video of you talking and that is the first thing you need to bear in mind i would love myself talking so other people have to love me talking that will have to understand that they are watching me and they are going to love me having a conversation with them now i'm going to say um you have to be unique in your own way um i see some youtubers you know they start with high love some youtubers they um try to me in particular my hands do a lot of my talking i'm always one of the showing of my hands for whatever reason it is my hands are very important when i'm moving my hands i feel a bit at, like, at, the awkwardness just reduces by like 80 percent 70 percent my hands are always ready i'm going to be giving you some tips on how to build your first year self-confidence um the first thing i will be saying is try to look good for the camera um if you have to you know put on some makeup wear some jewelry um prep your hair put on some nice clothes make yourself look comfortable but beautiful you know if you're a lady if you're a guy put on some nice clothes even spray cologne if you make you look nice if you make you feel nice that is the first tip try to look nice for the camera try to you know look beautiful so when you're looking at yourself um you would feel confident enough in the way you look and the next thing is to um constantly have conversations in front of the camera when no one is looking at you you can make videos at night you know just look at yourself hear your own voice get used to your voice um and then um be around people that boost your self-confidence if you feel shy making a video alone you could have a friend come around you know they could be in the background you know hyping you up yeah, yeah yeah go baby go baby that kind of thing why you make your videos if you're making if you're making vlogs which is one of the most common ways to be shy like i'm still shy sometimes making vlogs outside but whenever i'm going out with a friend it feels natural you know just recording the things that are happening dropping your triple stand making a video of yourself outside so friends actually help you a lot so um to build your self-confidence when you're making your videos friends and the way you look so try to look nice whenever you're going to make videos that way you feel more confident making your videos and um these are the three tips i'll be giving you for how to um let go of shyness you know as a youtuber you then lastly i'll just have to tell you you have to ignore the looks don't try to look put in the eyes 
don't try to have eye contact with people just go ahead and do what you want to do if you're even making a video outside go ahead and just do what you want to do if you're making a video in your room you can stay in a quiet place if you don't like people around and you know make the video of yourself speaking if you are doing sit down videos if you're doing cooking videos same thing whatever you're doing just find find the situation that when you put in it you feel your best now when you feel your best you feel you know proud of yourself and then you get to do the things that you want to do and also you could watch self-confidence videos online a couple of them you could watch your favorite youtuber you know and see how they react how they act in front of the camera and what makes them you know what you think makes them feel confident enough to make all this now another thing is on um, the way you talk um like i said um you should try to um talk properly get um, a good microphone speak properly mean hand gestures like me i'm always moving my hands my hands are always moving whenever i'm talking and it makes me feel better <clears throat> It's something I do subconsciously, but it just feels good. Um, I like rings, even though I'm just wearing one. So whenever I wear rings, you see me trying to show everybody my rings, and that way I'm trying to, you know, I really do not care about what's happening in the environment. That's another great tip. Now, you could also try to give yourself affirmation words wake up in the morning, tell yourself, I got this. You know, say some things, I'm beautiful, I'm loved by all, I'm loved by God. You could pray about it i'm a christian so i would not skip the part that if you have to pray about it you could you should pray about it to boost your self-confidence you could join maybe a group of people that do something in church in school you know something to just make you be out there and that way you feel better when you're speaking to um a group of people in a place like nigeria that's the truth if you're making a video outside everyone is going to just be looking at you so you have to just ignore the fact that people are looking at you and you know step out of your comfort zone don't always make videos inside if you want to make vlogs try to make them outside i'm trying to do that so i hope you all grow in that you know aspect make sure you step out of your comfort zone you know gradually go from not showing your face to showing your face to showing your surrounding to walking outside and talking and let people watch you yep you are a sensation you are supposed to be watched god did not create you for you to be hidden you a light set on a hill <laughs> but then just stand up and become confident enough you know uh, the first time I started making YouTube videos, you know, sitting down, I'm making YouTube videos. What is cost now? Just close my mouth. Pew! I don't want anybody to hear me talk. So it's not about what is she doing. But now when I'm making my YouTube videos, people you know come around. I really do not care. I mean, you can wonder what I'm doing. Fine, fine. Keep wondering. That is the thing. I want you to wonder so much that you have to go to YouTube and watch the video. So, um, stepping out of your comfort zone, just make sure that is part of your to-do list so you need to um push your boundaries yeah you know try out new video formats try out doing things you don't do on a normal day um yes that would help you you know build your self-confidence try out um things and when you're doing them record yourself you could um try recording yourself walking down to your parking lot recording yourself driving recording yourself picking up groceries recording yourself in a big market recording yourself you know in a church recording yourself in a congregation see the truth is that putting out content is a lot of work and it takes a lot of confidence so if you really want to do that you have to build your self-confidence i don't know if i'm getting dull i think i'm getting tired and hungry but then i will just try to run out the videos so i will make the video boring because i don't want it to be boring for anyone i want to actually watch me and enjoy what i'm talking about so uh, speaking about that uh, those are the things you need to be able to you know grow and um build your self-confidence and that's nice to engage in comment sessions and people comment you know reply um yeah most importantly you should um follow people that you really love their content or similar content with yours and drop comments on their videos watch their videos drop comments oh really nice clothes i love this i like that you know talk about it get busy with life moving join the crowd just just it seems like push your way through the crowd you know and um become 
a beautiful i mean i don't know what the word to use but something that people will be amazed towards someone that people will be amazed towards so um it's it's it, it can be challenging but you can actually make it so just don't forget to be yourself be authentic you know pick your mind visualize the things in your head talk with your hands talk with your head whatever way say kansamida say ania say or whichever way you feel makes you feel better you know um do all those things to make your videos look um to make yourself feel better and to make your videos look better and the last thing i would say is celebrating um your little wins you know when i got my first um 10,000 5,000 views you know in total on youtube i put it on this i was excited you know i got 30,000 views i was excited 30,000 views is it views what was that i can't remember but then Celebrate no matter how little it is, your first 100 subscribers, your first 200 subscribers, your first 5 subscribers, no matter how little it is, celebrate it. Yeah, you may be celebrating your 5 subscribers and somebody is celebrating 50k subscribers. Okay, that's for the person. But for you, you've tried enough to get 5 people to subscribe to your channel and that is a milestone that is beautiful. So, celebrate every win, you know, appreciate yourself, encourage yourself, speak to yourself, I can do this, you know, I can actually be out there people get to listen to me people get to watch me i don't care what people think in their mind of me i mean it's your choice to think what you want to think as much as i think what i want to think about you so um standing for yourself you know and the good thing about you know being self-confidence on youtube is that you could actually use that self-confidence in real life in presentations in your job in your career in your business you know in approaching people in um approaching in becoming a like um a paid content creator and influencer all those things you know you could put them out into those parts of your life i always just say you know i'm still trying to gain confidence in a lot of a lot of parts in my life so we could all build that confidence together nobody has it all i don't have it all at this moment as if you shy about a lot of things so um with that being said i hope you guys understand everything i said and if you have any questions do not forget to um ask at the comment section also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you've reached here and also don't forget to tell me what you would like to see in my next video and i'll be telling you guys about places where you can get content you know topics for your next for your next video for any video you want to start i'll be telling you guys as um websites where you can actually create content from so um with that being said i i will be ending this video now and i hope to see your subscribe button i hope to see your subscription rather i hope to see you click the subscribe button and become part of my family don't make me shy please make me bold by subscribing to my channel so i will see you guys next time in 